We're here today with Dr. David Wilms, Director of Critical Care Medicine at Sharp Memorial Hospital in San Diego, and we're talking about ventilator-associated pneumonia. Dr. Wilms, what is ventilator-associated pneumonia? Ventilator-associated pneumonia is a pneumonia or infection of the lower respiratory tract that develops in a patient who's been intubated and mechanically ventilated for 48 to 72 hours. Usually, we're talking about a pneumonia that wasn't present at the time of intubation and mechanical ventilation. So, Dr. Wilms, what is the significance of ventilator-associated pneumonia? Ventilator-associated pneumonia is a common complication in the critical care units and is associated with greatly increased hospital costs, antibiotic usage, and morbidity and mortality for the patient. For example, depending on the study, you might see rates of ventilator-associated pneumonia ranging from 5 to 10 percent up to 30 to 50 percent, wow. uh, depending on the patient population. It's been estimated by some in cost analyses that a case of ventilator-associated pneumonia, on average, may add up to thirty to forty thousand dollars of hospital costs to a patient's stay. And of course, it's a highly morbid and uh, potentially lethal condition with an estimated attributable mortality of around 30% for patients who develop this complication. How do patients get ventilator-associated pneumonia? Well, Steve, we've known for 40 years that patients in the intensive care unit rapidly become colonized in their oropharynx and in their gastric secretions with pathogenic uh, organisms, bacteria. Um, the pathogenesis of ventilator-associated pneumonia uh, involves the microaspiration into the lungs of these contaminated oropharyngeal and gastric secretions. Also, uh, we know that there is the development of a biofilm uh, which is laden with bacteria on the inner and outer surfaces of the endotracheal tube, which may then subsequently uh, travel down into the lung and set up infection. So there are a number of strategies that uh, you as a physician employ to uh, treat or to deal with ventilator-associated pneumonia. One such strategy is semi-recumbent positioning. How does that help? 